Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller on multiple different platforms. And today I have a Goodwill Bins haul with a small little regular Goodwill <laughs> to show you guys. This is from a location I had never been to, the Brunswick, Georgia location. Initially, I thought that the Savannah, Georgia location for the Goodwill Bins was the only one in Georgia. But apparently it's not because I had looked it up a couple of years ago. And that's the only one I found. So I'm wondering if the one in Brunswick, Georgia is actually newer. Not really sure. But me and my husband had went to that area for my birthday for lunch one day. Um, and we decided to go to the Goodwill afterwards. Because of course being a reseller, like I want to go to the Goodwill even on my birthday. And when we went to the regular Goodwill, the Goodwill outlet was right beside it. And I was like, what? So we had to go in there. Um, at the Goodwill outlet, I got 19.3 pounds at this location. It is $1.59 a pound, um, and I spent $32.84. I have quite a bit of stuff to go through, um, and then I think we were there for like a little over an hour, and then we went to the regular Goodwill, spent about 10 minutes there, and I got two things and spent about $10. Um, I am going to show those two things because they're pretty cool pieces, and then we'll jump right into the Goodwill bins haul. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the two items that I picked up at the regular Goodwill there is this really cool um, plaid Patagonia button down for men, size extra large, excellent condition. I paid $5.99 for this. My husband actually found this and I was like, yes, definitely going to pick that up. Love when I find Patagonia because it does sell. It has a following. Um, some of the things I do set on, like right now I have a bunch of Patagonia shorts for sale and I think I finally just sold one like a couple of days ago. Anyway, Patagonia, really good brand to pick up. And then this next one was like a last minute find. I was actually about to leave because I'm like, you know what? I'm not finding anything. I had went through all the dresses, didn't find not one thing. Um, and then I turned to walk out and I, my eye caught this piece. And it was like this really cool looking polo shirt. And come to find out, it's Kooji. Um, which is like a 90s brand, I believe. A Kooji Men Size XXL. It's this really cool velvet um, pattern polo shirt. And then it has this big old patch here. It was just really cool. And I remember when we got to the checkout and the guy was checking us out, he was like, man, I really wish this was my size because I would so totally rock this. And I was like, it's such a cool piece. Um, so yeah, I was really excited to find this. It is definitely real. Kooji is written on the buttons and everything. It's just really nice. Um, it has a little bit of wash wear to it, but other than that, that is a great find. When I looked it up, um, there's a little fuzz on it, uh, through the Google Lens, this was actually on the Real Real selling for $165. I'm not really sure how much I'm going to get for this piece, um, but if anything, I might even send it to the Real Real. I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I need to do some research on it, but that was a cool find. Okay, so now we're going to hop into the actual Goodwill bins haul. Um, and like I had said in my other video, man, I put a knot in here. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get it out of this back. Okay, I got it. Like I had said in my previous Goodwill bins haul, um, if you watch me regularly and you see my other bins haul, um, let me know which one you think is better. This one that I'm about to show you or the the one from Brunswick. Wait, no. This the one I one for Savannah or the one from Brunswick. Anyway, let's go ahead and begin. <laughs> okay, the first find was a pretty good find. This is from the brand CNC California. Um, this is the 100% Lyocell. This the CNC California 100% linen are the pieces that do really well. But when I saw this brand and I saw it was a cute style. It's like a shirt dress and it's buttoned down front and it still has the tie to it, which was great. Um, it is only a size medium. I decided to go ahead and pick it up. I just thought that was a really good find, really good condition. Um, not sure exactly how CNC California does anymore, but I know that that brand, you know, does sell. So hopefully I will be able to get at least $15, $20 for that. The next piece was a pretty good find. Um, this is Michael, Michael Kors, which I would not pay up for this brand, but if I find something like this in the Goodwill bins, I'm definitely gonna pick it up, especially because of the design to it. Um, it has a lot going for it, the design, and also 
the gold zipper that says like MK on it. Um, just those types of detail. I will definitely pick this up at the Goodwill outlet. Um, this is another one I hope to at least get 20 25 for. Um, Michael Michael Kors is not like extremely expensive or anything, but I know people do like it. So I believe that will eventually sell. Okay, so the next find was a really cute dress here. It's like a floral sleeveless dress, very lightweight, 100% cotton. Um, and I don't know if this is an old tag. It might be like vintage Aeropostale. I'm not really sure. I don't know what the newer Aeropostale tag looks like. It could very well be vintage, but it's really cute. That floral print, um, great for springtime. I know I should at least be able to get 15 to 20 for that. And then I picked this up because it was new with tags. Um, this brand does, I, I say it will sell, it just doesn't sell for a lot of money. This is Maurice's, um, and it is a plus size new with tags. This is a brand that's really uh, popular in my neck of the woods. I'm not sure about anywhere else, but this is a cute top. Um, I like the sleeves, very cute, but the main reason I picked it up was because it was new with tags and I could always throw this into a live show if it's not selling um, quick enough. I could just throw it in for like five to eight dollars and I'm sure it will sell. Okay, and then I found a J Jill piece. I don't find much J Jill when I go to the outlet usually, but definitely if I find it at the outlet, honestly, like no matter what size it is, I'm going to pick it up um, just because I really like J Jill. Um, this is not a brand that I pay up for anymore unless it's like a really nice dress or like 100% linen. I don't pick up their blouse tops anymore even if it's a, a plus size <laughs> unless it has something going for it like a really good material. But this is a really cute ditzy floral print top and it is size small. Um, and it looks to be a newer piece. I'm not really sure of the year but it's 100% rayon. It just looks newer to me. Um, I could be totally wrong. It could be from like 2013 for all I know. Okay, next piece. These were a find that my husband found. These need to actually be um, clean. They need to be washed, um, but it is Banana Republic, Aiden, Chino, and whenever I find pants like this, I will put in that full name. So Aiden, Chino, and then the color, as you can see, they are just pretty dirty, pretty dingy right now. I have not washed any of this stuff yet, so I apologize for that. But I will wash these. They do have a slight bit of wash wear to them, but I should at least be able to get $15 to $20 for those as well, which is kind of what I keep in mind when I go to the Goodwill outlet, just because I know my cost of goods is going to be really low. So if I can at least get 15 to $20 for Goodwill outlet pieces, I will usually pick them up because it does bulk up my closet. There are often times where I can get more than that for that item. Um, it just kind of depends on the situation. Like this one, for example, really cute style. I love this. It's a size medium. It's like a tunic sweater. Not really the season for it not really the brand uh you know wonderly is not like the greatest brand but for something like this i can get 15 to 18 dollars so for me it's worth it um because i don't go to the goodwill bins and have like plenty of time i know a lot of people go there and they stay all day and they cherry pick the area and they only get the best stuff but usually when i go in i'm on a strict time limit because my husband usually goes with me and he doesn't want to stay there all day so I try to keep it under an hour. So I just grab what is decent and what I can get $15 to $18 with. Anyway, you didn't need to know all the information. I actually got this for me. This is a really cute dress. I have not tried it on. It might be a little too short for my taste. Um, but I like little spaghetti strap dresses like this because usually what I do is I'll wear like, for example, I'll wear like a black shirt under this or like a black t-shirt or even... I was going to say white, but it wouldn't look good with white. But you get what I'm saying. I use this as a layering piece, and it's a really cute dress. Um, it's Shein. And if it doesn't work out for me, again, this is a piece that I can throw into my um, 
live shows, but yeah. All right, so this was a piece my husband found and we just thought it was cute. It's um, a vintage piece. I don't pick up much vintage, but if it's kind of different, like this has this, I don't even know what you call that at the bottom. <laughs> Not sure, but it's cute. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up. It needs to be washed um, and it is a size medium. Very, very cute piece. All right. This I have not looked up, but I'm wondering if this is some kind of designer piece or something. Dorothy Perkins, never heard of it. But when I see a tag like this, um, I do like to look it up because you just never know. This could be like a Shein type of brand or it could be designer, you just never know. Very cute piece, very cute floral print. I love picking up floral. Um, I love picking up prints. I know a lot of people stay away from prints, but that's what I look for when I go to the Goodwill is very printed um, pieces, not just like basic pieces, because I feel like it stands out. Okay. This next piece is a brand that I hear McThrifty talk about a lot. And I think, I don't think I've ever picked it up to resale, but I picked this up because I really wanted to try this brand out. The brand is Angie. And this is a size large maxi length dress it has a slight bit of wash wear to the bottom if you can see that which i will note in the listing it also has like some smock detail around the waist there i um, not sure how this is going to do it's not in like perfect condition but at, but because it was maxi length because of the print and because of the brand, I decided to go ahead and take a chance on that. Okay, and this was a style-based pickup. I just thought this was so cool, cute looking. Look at this uh, cardigan. It is so bright and so colorful. Um, it has butterflies on it, if you can see that. And just the, the actual color pattern to me is just so cute. It is so grandma style love it um it's from a brand called j j h collectibles and this might even be a decent brand because the tag looks decent not really sure i haven't looked it up yet um like i said i haven't done much to the, these clothing pieces besides just bringing them home i honestly have forgot what i picked up this day so <laughs> but yeah really cute cardigan piece for that i might use stuff like art to wear um artsy grandma core stuff like that to get it um seen all right so this brand i was looking up the comps for this brand when i was in the goodwill outlet because i didn't know if i wanted to pick it up it's the brand nygaard and the comps were just everywhere <laughs> they were just up and down everywhere but i decided to go ahead and get it it needs a good washing but it feels very quality um it's a blazer i really liked how even the buttons just look pretty quality if you can see that and it has the buttons in the front as well so not really sure about this piece yet i need to do a little bit of research um but yeah i know it's hard to show because i haven't buttoned it up but that is just an experimental piece i think i've come across nygaard before so and I don't think I've ever picked it up, <laughs> but I decided to go ahead and try to pick that one up. This one is a really cute piece. This is from the brand Premise Studio, and this is a tank top. It's very flowy, that lightweight polyester size extra large. This is another piece that I would love to put in a live show um, just to bulk up my live show rack uh, for springtime. I don't run... I don't run shows often anymore. I was trying to do them once a week, but now it's more like when I have time, but I like to have, you know, my rack ready um, for whenever I feel like running a live show. Okay, so this was the piece that I was so excited to find. Like, when do you find this brand at the Goodwill outlet? I, I was just so ecstatic. This is a definite bolo brand. If you ever come across this brand, just pick it up. I remember I found a like just pullover shirt 
in this brand and it sold like next day or something crazy like that for like $30 on eBay. And this is the brand, American Giant. Love, love, love finding this brand. And this is a full zip ho hoodie jacket, which is just so exciting. When I found this, I was like, I was just in shock. Um, I told my husband, I'm like, this is like a bolo. This is such a nice jacket. It is like a eggplant purple um, hoodie size large. I'm not going to keep it. I'm not going to keep it. Okay. I'm not going to keep it, but it's really, really cute. Um, cute color. And this is a very um, nice outdoor brand. I'm doing the most terrible job showing these clothes. But if you ever see this little tag, here's the tag for American Giant. Hopefully you can see that. I know I, sometimes I don't show the tags very well. I'll be watching the videos that I've filmed, like um, doing my editing and everything. And I'm like, Christy, you didn't even show the tag. Like I'll be like showing this part and it's not even the tag. So I apologize for that. <laughs> That is a really exciting find. Um, I'm excited to get that listed. When I was looking up comps, very briefly in the Goodwill outlet, I was seeing comps between like 50 to like $60. So that'll pay for the whole haul plus some, which is exciting. Okay, so I still have so much to show you guys. So I'm gonna try to fly through this a little bit because I don't want this video to be super long. I found free people. I never find free people in the savannah goodwill bins i do know me and my husband were kind of talking about it um as we were going through the bins at brunswick and we're like okay it really felt like there was not much of a uh what am i getting at there was not much of a reseller presence if that makes sense i feel like the one in savannah there was a lot of like younger resellers there you know because they were like talking about comps and stuff so that could be the reason why I don't find much stuff at the one in Savannah. But anyway, free people, size extra small, of course. Very cute little top, has embroidered sleeves. This is not something that I would pay up for. I'm just being honest. Free people is so oversaturated now. Um, and unless it's like new with tags or like a really great piece, I'm just not going to pick up free people anymore like I used to. All right, so this is one that I was also very excited about like what in the world I don't even know how this got in the Goodwill outlet just like with the American Giant piece I mean Sundance are you serious this was probably a hundred and fifty dollars look at this dress how gorgeous is it it is a full print um <laughs> it just shocks me it isn't it's also a plus size it's extra extra large um just gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I love, love finding Sundance. I don't find it often. I actually found a piece uh, in my last haul. So the fact that I found another Sundance piece is very exciting. And as I'm going through this haul, I just realized how much better this haul is than the one from Savannah that I uploaded recently. It's just crazy. This was just the most adorable, darling piece, you guys. I I could not leave this behind. How cute is that? It has smocking. How cute is this dress? It's in perfect condition, and I believe it might be vintage. Here's the, the tag. I could be wrong. Poly finders. It might be... Um, it, it might be like, what am I, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, it's really cute. Um, it says it's a size six for a little girl. Adorable little dress. Has like a little tie detail to it. This is so cute. If I had a little girl, I would keep this. <laughs> it was so adorable. That was a great find. I just loved that. I love that. Oh, and this part. Oh, I had to show this part. Look at the bottom. Like where like the bottom part, I hope you'll be able to see it. Let me do it this way. Okay. Do you see how the little bottom part does? Has this little detail here where it kind of opens? Oh, it's just, it's darling. I love it. Okay. Next piece was a style base pickup, but I picked it up because it's so soft. It's that eyelash uh, knit. It's that soft, like fuzzy knit. If you can see that and it's in excellent condition it needs to be washed 
because it's almost like somebody ran it over with their um, cart because um, there's a little marking on the sleeve, but it's just Andre by unit, which is not a very high um, price brand or anything, but this is just really cute. The fact that it's that eyelash knit will definitely get it sold. Probably not right now because we're about to go into springtime, but I'm sure that will sell come the fall and winter season. This was another style based pickup, but I need to look up this brand because I did not run comps on this. Um, the brand is Alista. My husband said it looked very Greek and it could very well be. Um, and this is very beachy. I mean, Brunswick is very close to the beach. Um, so a lot of this stuff was like beachy type pieces. Very cute. I love the colors on it and it's just very summer beachy um, style blouse. So we're moving on to the second bag. Random thing that husband found some vent covers. <laughs> he found those and then he also found this which was actually a pretty cool find. It is a tag plate from the night. night blah, blah, blah. It's a tag plate from 76. That's what I'm trying to get at. So that's some stuff that he found that he just thought was really cool. And I think it's pretty cool as well. I find that I found that was really cool is actually the full Dave Ramsey's Financial Dream University. The actual little case is Seen Better Days, but it has all of them. Like one through 13. Plus the bonus ones. So I'm actually going to check this out first for myself. Um, just because I really like Dave Ramsey. I love watching his stuff on Facebook and he's just very inspiring. So I'm going to check this out first myself and then probably once I'm done with it, I will sell it. Um, Cause I'm sure someone's looking for that. Just like, I think it's interesting. All right, what is this? I don't even remember picking this up. Oh, okay, Maurice's again, excuse me. Maurice's again, this is a size 2X really cute blouse top um gingham print not gingham excuse me plaid it has like some really big sleeve detail to it this is very reminiscent of free people love that really cute style had to pick that up okay moving on it's not a goodwill outlet haul without a little bit of old navy i love picking up old navy at the goodwill outlet even at regular goodwill if it's a really nice piece like a really nice dress this is actually extra small but i decided to go ahead and pick it up because of the print to it it was really cute really cute piece and it still has the tie to it so for those reasons i decided to go ahead and pick it up really adorable little dress there all right another dress found so many dresses this day and i believe this is newer tag American Eagle. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I believe that it is. And I believe I looked at the inner tag and it was like 2022. But how cute is this? This would be really cute to have like a, a white t-shirt under it. Again, it has the tie and little button detail. Very, very cute. Um, had to pick that one up. I love selling dresses. It's, it's my favorite, favorite thing to sell. All right. And then Adidas size 32 men's purple shorts excellent condition had to pick those up because um golf season's coming up and these are kind of golf shorts i need to look them up but i'm pretty sure those are golf shorts <laughs> and then we have tempo paris i have sold this brand before this is an italian brand and this is 100% linen button down top. I just don't have it buttoned down. Now, this is going to be a piece that I might not be able to sell um, because I picked it up knowing it was flawed. There it is. It has a flaw on it. It's like a, looks like mustard. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stain treat that. And if that comes out, I know I can at least get about 25 to 28 for this piece. It's in nice condition other than it needs to be washed, it needs to be stain treated, and it needs to be steamed. <laughs> there is so much, y'all. There are so many clothes in this haul. <laughs> this is a brand that I'd never heard of, Feathers. Never heard of it. 
style base pickup cute little dress with embroidered sleeves this is another piece that i'm probably going to throw into a live show just because i don't think the brand is anything special um but the embroidery will probably sell it and a low price like i'll probably ask for ten dollars for that maybe ten to twelve um if i can't sell it on regular market if i see the comps are not good on it is what i'm getting at okay how cute is this i found the cutest piece of baby clothing like the pink dress and then this was the only two baby clothing that i found but i almost want to keep this how adorable <laughs> is that little turtle um it's from the brand sir john um never heard of it but i know that there's like a lot of baby boutiques so it's possible this was just a boutique and i probably possibly will save this for my future baby have not decided yet okay w5 no idea where that is from but this is the cutest little blouse size large love the ditzy floral print and i just really think this would be a nice addition to my closet um, i love having like lightweight blouses in my closet like office wear pieces because they don't sell for much but people, you know, are looking out for stuff like that, that they can wear at any, you know, any place, whether it be work or going somewhere. Now, this is a brand I need to do some research on. When I was looking up the um, comps really quickly in the Goodwill outlet, I felt like the comps were pretty good. Is Spencer Alexis, and it is a maxi length, uh, almost said skirt, maxi length sleeveless dress um, it has a little bit of texture to it i mean i picked it up because when it's maxi lengths like this and there's nothing like holding on to you it's like just very flowy it's very lagging look um, i like to pick it up so this is a size 12 it says made in usa um, and i also picked it up because it has some silk in it so it's 50 percent rayon 25% acetate and then 15% silk, 10% polyester. So I can put silk blend in um, the title as well. Not quite sure about that brand though, but we, we will see. <laughs> okay, we're almost done y'all. We still have uh, a couple of pieces and then we will be done. This is like the longest haul I think I've ever filmed. Okay, Lou and Gray. I do not pick up this brand anymore on regular Google. I used to pick it up no matter what, but it just does not sell for me anymore. So my husband found this one though, and I just thought it was too cute to leave behind. It's um, just really soft. It's navy blue. It's that athleisure hoodie style that was really popular a couple years ago during the pandemic. It has really, really cute sleeves and it does have a hood. So I'm sure that will eventually sell, probably not for much, maybe $15. And this is another style base pickup because this brand, though I believe it does sell for a good amount of money, does not resell for a lot. So Incline, um, but I just seen this doing really well on eBay, um, possibly even Poshmark, just because of the print. It's very cute um, and it's a size small. So we decided to pick that up. I believe that was a find that my husband found. Okay, we have two more pieces and we are done. This is a really cute um, blouse. I just think this is so just different. How cute is that print? Very cute. And it is my size. I might wear this once or twice. It's this brand called Bloom Chic, which I see on Facebook like all the time. It's just like a kind of cheapy boutique, but they have really cute print. So um, because of that, I feel like I know at least I have personally, I have looked up that brand on the secondhand market because some of their stuff is not cheap. Like their dresses easily are like 40 to $50. So yeah, I'm excited to get that listed. And then this one, um, I did not have time to look up. This could be a designer for all I know. This could be Walmart. <laughs> I doubt it's Walmart, but Snowskins, not really sure about that one either. 
size large, but it's just a really cool print. How cool is that? It just looks different. It feels high quality. It just feels quality. It has a turtleneck. Um, and it also has really big side slits. So it's very just, um, comfortable, but the tag, the inner tag does kind of feel cheapy. So it does say made in the USA. That will be a brand I will have to look up, but I could not leave this behind because when I felt it, it just, it just feels quality. You know how you touch pieces and you're like, wait, this feels like it might be something. So yeah, decided to go ahead and take a chance on that one. And yeah, that is the end of this haul. You guys let me know what you think. I honestly, just me personally, I feel like this haul was way better than the Savannah one. Um, and I wish that I lived a little bit closer to this location because I would probably go there way more often because it was actually a uh, Saturday when I went. And you would think like Saturdays would be very busy and the place was, but it wasn't busy in that way. It was more like family and things like that. So anyway. I found some really good stuff. So let me know what you think down below. If there's any brands that I showed that you're familiar with, um, especially like the Snow Skins one, let me know. Have you ever seen that brand before? Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one.